Hey guys, Marlon from Impress Peters, and today we're gonna to talk about servers, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right guys, just to start off, we have an HP Tower server. Um, this comes with the very basic Xeon processor from the factory, it comes with eight gigs of RAM and a single one terabyte hard drive disk. Now, for the company that we're gonna use this for, they're gonna need a little bit more RAM, they don't need a super high-end processor, so we've jumped to 16 gigs of RAM and we're gonna go for two, two one terabyte on a uh, hard drive disk on a RAID 1. All right guys, this is a mid-range server. This in particular, it's a Dell R240. It's a server rack mount, as you can see. Uh, basically, this in particular model comes with a Xeon processor, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, and a single one terabyte, three and a half inch drive. Uh, we've upgraded it to 32 gigs of RAM, dual two, uh, two terabyte hard drive disk on a RAID 1. Um, and basically, it's made for a medium size uh, and medium, uh, capacity to high load, so where are you gonna use it? All right guys, and this is the Lenovo uh, tower server. This is the ST550. In particular, this server comes from the factory with a single Xeon processor, 16 gigs of RAM, um, and no drives. However, this will come uh, standard on two and a half inches, so you can put SSD or SAS drives. Um, it has plenty slots for RAM. We're gonna go with 64 gigs for our customer on this particular spec, and it has a another uh, slot for a Xeon processor. So if you're looking for a very robust environment for your server, local in-house, or lots of RAM and lots of speed on SSD performance, this server will be able to do it for you. All right guys, and that's basically it for the video. If you're looking for more of the entry level server, we have that HP that I showed you in the beginning. Um, nothing crazy about that server, nothing super robust, but it will get the job done. If you're looking more of the mid-range level, we have the Dell rack mounted server, and we can also try to get that on the tower version. Right now, things are very tight in the market and dry, so it may take longer than expected. However, if you wanna look for the more of the robust and the high end, then you can get away with this Lenovo. Um, now this in particular, I want to say something real quick. It has a uh, dual power supply uh, to where if it's a, it's a redundancy. So if one of them fails, then the other one will kick in and it'll actually let you know in the system that something is wrong. And then once you dig into it, you can see what, what the problem is. So basically it's a hot swap. You can take the power supply out, put the other one back in, and then you'll be good to go. Um, if you have any questions, guys, on the servers, you can leave your comments down below or give us a call at twit1-647-9977. Thank you.